you want to get skinny, you need to get skinny, but it just never happens. And not good. Today I'm confessing the three keys to lasting Clyde success. Hit it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to a fresh new episode of the Fitness Avengers, where we fight fat, frustration, and fitness fakes. I'm your host, NASM Master Trainer Tony Ariola from TotalBodyProject.com, and I'm on a personal mission to simplify fitness for you. So welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First of all, I got to send some love out there. Uh, Irvine is, and our surrounding areas are kind of burning down. I've had a lot of clients evacuate it. Uh, thank you for everybody who reached out. It's just a scary time right now. You see the ashes and the smoke-filled skies. So thank you, everybody, for reaching out. For my clients that got moved or my friends that got evacuated, uh, hang in there, stay stuff. I mean, hang in there, stay tough. It's a rough time. I mean, if we didn't have enough to deal with the pandemic, then we also throw this in there. So love you guys. Let's stay happy and healthy, and hopefully everyone's house stays right. Um, <clears throat> If you guys are jumping on board, make sure you guys say hi. Thank you guys for uh, jumping on. Hi, Tazim. Hi, Diana. Welcome. Let's rock and roll. Last week, my client asked me to keep a secret. And <laughs> this happens a lot. As a trainer, I hear a lot of stories. And today, I'm sharing them uh, sharing them all, especially the juicy ones. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm going to share what I believe are the actual keys to lasting client success. And I... It's going to be a little bit different than what you think. So I'm going to share with you all the things that my, my winning clients are doing, which are the three keys to lasting success, how to apply them, and what separates my most successful clients. I've been training for you know over 18 years, done over 45,000 plus hours of one-on-one -on -one sessions. And from all that, I can tell you there's some things that the winning clients do that the losing clients do not. So I'm going to share with, those you, with you today. Today we have our Ask the Trainer says, how long do I need a trainer? Hmm, good question. So I'll answer that at the end. And then actually last week is celebrating 11 years of Total Body Project. So I'm very excited. I mean, this year flew by thanks to the pandemic. It feels like, I mean, I'm still in March, but technically the year is almost over in, in October. So 11 years of TVP and I got a special video for you guys at the end. So thank you guys for jumping on High Court. And Court celebrated for her 100,000 millionth zillion <laughs> download for uh, forensic tales so make sure you guys check that out now let's talk about instant gratification versus long-term gratification and these are two different mindsets that are really going to change how you view habits and how you view success for 99 percent of human history we've valued instant gratification L let me give you an example so like when we were hunting for food and like uh you know berries we go days without eating and you know we had to find shelter and all the, all these different things that we had to like combat as our our um, <clears throat> ancestors had to like go for it like in the prehistoric the prehistoric times hunting for food hunting for berries all that stuff so when you came upon food like a berry or like a berries anything anything that you got to right away you ate it you found shelter you ate it you found the partner you got with your partner everything was instant gratification instant gratification and now for 99% of our life, of our existence, we've done that. Now in modern times, things are way different. Instant gratification is no longer valued. What's valued is long-term gratification. Like when you go to work, you have to wait two weeks to get a paycheck. You go to school for four years so you can get a degree. You eat right and exercise today so you can look good later. So what I'm telling you is in order to get everything that you want out of life and to succeed long-term in health, fitness, and your career, or whatever you choose to excel in, you're going to have to value delayed gratification. The more that you can value delayed gratification, the better off you're going to be in modern times. Instant gratification served us for the first you know, 99% of our existence, but now this last, this last modern times, it no longer serves us because instant gratification will cause you to fail on a lot of things. Like if you want to donate, eat it right now. If you're bored, you get your phone out and you start looking, scrolling through social. All these different things lead you to form these bad habits. And these bad habits can have a compounding effect, which helps you go up, or a declining effect, which drags you down. So just kind of understand that mindset as we kind of go through this episode. The number one thing that 
my most successful clients do is that they accept failure. And what I mean by accepting failure, our life, we our whole life, we grew up telling us that if we got something wrong, we were scolded, or if you tried something new and it didn't work, you were laughed at, or if you chased some endeavor, you were no good. And the problem with that is that that's just a loser men, loser's mentality. In order to succeed in fitness, in health, and in life, you have to be willing to accept failure. Because my clients that start, you know, nobody is perfect. Everybody thinks that they're going to be in this like, oh, I'm going to wait till everything lines up, till this pandemic's over, or till I come back from the vacation, or till my kids go back to school, or till you name it. People always have an excuse when they think life is going to be perfect. But let me give you a little notice if you can't tell by the fires, the pandemic, you know, crazy politics, life is not perfect. So if you're waiting for this perfect world to come up for you to start working on your goals, it's not going to happen. And you have to know that all that failure is doing for you is providing feedback of a way that didn't matter. You know, the the, the famous example is Tom Edison, who had like, you know, I forget, it's like somewhere like north of like, you know, 6,000 or 7,000 or 700 70,000 failures or something. And they asked him, it's like, oh man, you failed so many times. He's like, I didn't fail. I just found 70,000 ways that didn't work. So my most successful clients figure that out. Like if they can't get to the gym, they still execute on their food. If they're not perfect, they they bounce back. If they can't make it to a hike, you know, they go back another day. So it's important to know that failure is part of it. It's not the end all. And it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It's just, it means that you never, that you didn't get there. That means that you, they don't quit, all right? People think fitness is just as beautiful. Like, yeah, I did it for 60 days, 90 days, and then I got there like, yeah, and I was fit, and then I finished. And <laughs> the problem is that your health doesn't finish. You know, who you are and your body and your mind and your heart and your lungs, they're going to be with you for the rest of your life. So you're going to, there is no finishing line. So you're going to have to maintain, you're going to have to keep investing in yourself and keep working and make sure that you're always moving forward. And one of my favorite lines with, with uh, fitness is, it's impossible to stop someone who never gives up, right? It's impossible to stop someone who never gives up. So if you really want to succeed in fitness, you really want to get skinny, you really want to get all your hopes and all your dreams accomplished, then just, just don't give up. If you don't give up, you'll, you'll make it there. I promise you. You want to switch that mindset. We talked about the instant gratification versus the delayed gratification. And you want to switch from days and weeks, days and weeks to months and years. And I know that's a big leap for people. People always ask me like, well, how long do I have to work out? It's like, well, basically forever. If you want to be in shape, if you want to have a great life, if you want to have a strong, healthy mind when you get older, you're going to have to keep working out forever. And the, and I'll, I'll just give everybody a moment so they can accept that. We'll build a bridge and then we'll get over it. <laughs> so it, it, takes a, it takes a long time. The next thing that my most successful clients do is that they understand that it's mind over muscle. It's not about how much you can lift in the gym or which crazy exercises you do or reps, you know, eccentric, concentric, or hit, F, you know, whatever, you know, Zumba, whatever the flavor of the month is, that doesn't matter. They understand that health and fitness really starts in the brain. It starts in the mind and starts with really good choices. It starts with taking care of yourself and, and being responsible and investing in yourself and knowing that you're worth it. Because a lot of times we, you know, we put these things out like, oh, I want to feel better, but I don't want to take care of myself. You know, if you're watching TV or if you're doing all these other things that don't really affect your mindset, you know, um, your well-being, you're not investing in your in your health, in your brain, and and anything that's revolves around you, you're gonna have a tough time. It's gonna suck. You have to understand that it's not the gym, what you do in the gym, it's like all the other stuff, all the other stuff that goes with it. So let me give you an example of how this works. So this is from the book called uh, Atomic Habits, and it's a really good book that talks about building these tiny habits. And what I like about this graph is you can see that if, you know, you get 1% better every day, right? 1% better every day for a year, right? Just 1% better, 1% better, 1% better, 1% better, 1 better for 365. So Tazim, you, you'll like this. It's 1.01 raised to the 365th power, <laughs> which is some nerd talk for saying you're going to be 30 time, 37 times better at the end of the year. And while progress doesn't feel like it should happen every day, like the hard part with health and fitness and building these good habits is that they don't feel like, like you're doing anything. 
Like if you if you today you ate right and you went for your ten thousand steps and or you got your hike in, there's not really much of a change as far as your physical being. It only happens after you do it consistently over and over, one percent better, one percent better. Then you get this huge spike. You build this new you build this new lifestyle. You build you're building basically new systems where you're you know you're monitoring your you know what I call your five daily dids, which is eating you know eating right, sleeping right, drinking enough water, moving enough, and taking your supplementation. Uh, your vitamins all these little choices really add up to something huge at the end so don't don't think that you need to have this monumental you know success overnight it doesn't happen one of my one of my favorite lines is like i've worked my whole life to become an overnight success right you you watch the ice melt and it's you know one degree one degree one degree and eventually that ice melts but is it the last degree or is it the compound effect of everything else all right stone cutter is another great analogy Right, these guys that are stone cutters are just like working, 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 and finally it just breaks and it, you know, it molds and stuff. But it wasn't, it was a compound of all these effects. So when you want to think about changing your life and building this new, fantastic, incredible life where you're just you're skinny, you're ripped, looking amazing, it's really the compound effect of tiny choices that you make every single day. So emoji party time. Dun, 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 dun. If you're watching, hi Tazim, Court, Diana, woo. If you guys watching on the replay, make sure you guys hit those likes, thumbs up, happy times, and happy times despite this turbulent times. Ooh, it's some rough, some rough go. My most successful clients also are willing to ask for help. Use experts, use support, use a proven plan, use something that you respect, that you trust, that will help get you there. Because it's hard when you're going by yourself because you're going to stumble. You know, I've learned this the hard way as I try to teach myself how to swim and ended up swim, swim drowning in the Pacific Ocean, which is not fun. You know, now I have my, you know, my fitness coach. I have a, a coaching coach. I have all these coaches that I've supported my, that are supporting me in order to help me become better. And I'll be honest with you, they're finding blind spots. They're helping me develop quicker and they're helping me to be a better version of myself. And that's what an expert is designed to do to help you accelerate to hold you accountable and to get you moving on those days that you don't feel like it because this week's been rough guys, as far as like motivation and getting people to do things. And you want to have somebody in your corner that's just like, yeah, let's go. We can do this. You know, I was talking to uh, one of my clients yesterday and she was telling me that it's hard to get motivated to work out on certain days. And so what I was telling her, I was, and I told her, I was like, look, you're, you're a very bright individual. Exercise is not only just for your muscles. It's also for your brain. To make sure that you get a calming effect it helps if it works as meditation it works to build more gray matter it works to calm you and it'll help you sleep better so all these things will help you really move that needle when it comes down to work out and i promise that i will always lead from the front and make sure that you're getting it done i will never have you do any workouts that i'm not willing to do myself so you want to learn right the the difference between working with an expert is that i've seen what doesn't work and what works a smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise one learns from the mistakes of others. So before you go try something crazy that may or may not work, let's just go through it. And I'll tell you, like the guy has put on the garbage bag, <laughs> sweat bag, that didn't work. The people with their waistbands, that, did, that didn't work. The skinny tea people, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. The creams, that didn't work. Like don't waste your time. Uh, it's cool, cool, cool sculpting is another cool one that's awesome that also does not work. And I wish it did. I wish it did. It would be so much easier to get it done fast. But unfortunately, we haven't found that solution. So when you're, you know, you're trying things and you're experimenting with things, don't, don't, you don't have to guess. Follow an expert. Follow what the, what a winning strategy is, and you'll get there uh, very quick, or a lot, not quick, but a lot faster. So here's a, here's our ask the trainer. How long do I need a trainer? Well, it depends. If, uh, if you're already in shape and you feel like you got it, not very long. Now, if you struggle and you know that you're motivated sometimes and sometimes you're not, it may be a little bit longer. I've had clients that use me usually for like around anywhere from nine months to like <clears throat> half a year to people that have me for like 15, 18 years. It just depends on your budget and, and you, if you're getting something out of it, right? If it's a good partnership where you're getting something out of the training and it makes you train, you're going to be in better shape than 99% of the people out there because you're showing up to be consistent and the trainer, like myself, is always going to be happy, motivated, and willing to get you going. And if he's knowledgeable, like myself, 
And he's always reading, educating you and learning new things that can, you can throw into your fitness. And that's really the, the advent of a, like the, really like the benefits of having a, just an incredible trainer. So either forever or a little while, <laughs> one of those. So now I got a special, I, I was going to have balloons, but during pandemic time and fire time, I don't feel like balloons are appropriate. So we decided not to go with the balloons. We do have, we do have a little video that I want to show you guys about kind of how I started with the, with the TBP and it's kind of a cool back in my, back in my day, back in my day. All right. So, um, as you guys know, I kind of branched out on my own like the last two or three months. And uh, I started a total body project. Um, one of the big reasons that I started that, that that business is just to kind of give back to people and to help them. So a lot of misinformation about health and fitness and everyone's always trying to push their products on you like, you know, buy this, take that, and you know, do this and you'll get where you want to get to. My, my philosophy is a little bit different when it comes to that. I just really believe in people, you know. I don't think you have to make these drastic changes to just make a fitness a part of your life. You know, whether it's you know walking in the park, uh, running on the beach, working out if you want to join the gym, join the gym if you want to do you know some intense boot camps, do the boot camps. If you want to do personal training, do personal training. Every, to everybody their own their own thing. And then what I want to do is just whatever that you're doing is just take it to the next level and really just become who you're supposed to be. You know, because life's short. It's too short for you not to be in the greatest shape that you can be in. Why not? You know, a lot of times we kind of complain and moan like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't like this or I don't like that. And I'm saying just go out there and do it. You know, take those, take those little steps and, and get it done. So, you know, my, my rationale is, is, I don't think it's different. I just think it's more just kind of down to earth and more about what you can actually. As far as like my personal philosophy with the training goals, as far as like my personal philosophy with the training goals is. I take it like I take it personal. You know, a lot of trainers don't like that. You know, uh, I don't like to give you people and arrogance, blah blah blah. But I always argue that if they hire you as a trainer, then you should take it personal. You should get your goal. Right? If you don't get your goal, I should give you your money back. Not a problem. Right? As long as you feel that you made the commitment, I have no problem with that. Right? But the, the whole thing is that, that I think really separates me is the fact that we're gonna apply all these different levels of, of education, right? We're gonna work on your, your, your neural patterns, your mind connection. How do you look at food? What, what makes you happy? Right? And we're gonna find things that work for you, that are that are easy and they're sustainable. Right? No no drastic changes. And we're gonna educate you and empower you to make sure that you get to where you wanna get. To. And once you get to where you want to get to, off, right? bam, then you're just you showing off, right? Parade, Walking by the pool, watching. right? You want to be that. You want to be in the parade, not watching the parade. Yeah, that stuff really uh, brings me back. When I filmed that video, um, I had zero clients. So when you have zero clients, you have zero money. And I remember that was a kind of a scary time for me because I didn't know if Total Body Project would work. I didn't know if people would believe in me enough. I didn't know if I can replicate the same kind of success that I did at, you know, 24 Hour Fitness. But, you know, I wanna thank everybody who's, you know, on live and who's, who's believed in me over the years as, you know, even this year has been a lot tougher than regular years. You know, 2020 has been tough for everybody, but thank you guys for your support, for, for, your love throughout the years and for believing in me and you know because of your belief in me i got a cool new set so i'm not <laughs> i'm no longer filming from the park <laughs> we got we got a cool set you know we can afford things i found you know the love of my life i got a i got a puppy i get to compete in triathlons i get i get to write books it's just been so many things so many wonderful things that have happened over the last 11 years and i look forward to even even bigger things i look for me, it's not so much of my dreams. I think a lot of them have happened, you know, coming from LA where I grew up, this is, I'm already exceeded like everything past my wildest dreams. It's more for helping my clients, helping my, 
my friends helping Courtney achieve all of your dreams. You know, Nicole helping her achieve her dreams. All the, everyone, I think everyone deserves to accomplish all their dreams, not just some. And I know that my my job in life is to help more people do that. And you know, my instrument or my what I use to help people is health and fitness. So thank you guys so much for to, for tuning in. Um, it's kind of a spe special episode. It's a tough episode because, like I said, the fires are really scary uh, for my friends and for my clients. Um, <clears throat> if you had had a chance, jump in, join our Facebook group, The Fitness Avengers. We're growing. We're up to about 160 people in there. Next week, uh, it's the election. So we're going to have election coverage. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not going to have election coverage. So <laughs> hopefully, like, there, things are not burning down, <laughs> whatever happens during the elections. But next week, I'm going to have the do's and do's of, of restorative, restorative sleep. Because I know a lot of people are struggling with sleep, um, you know, chronic stress, high anxiety. So we're going to figure out what are the things, what will work in order to help you get better, more restful sleep so you can get up in the morning and tackle this madness that we call life. Remember, life's still good, guys. You know, like every day that you above ground, every day that you get to live your dreams, hug your puppy, you know, love somebody in your life, um, smile. It's a good day. It's a good day. You got a roof over your head. You know, you're, you're getting a chance to watch your Facebook live. You're in a good slot. You got internet. I, I wish I would have had internet when I was little. That would have been awesome. So thank you guys again for tuning in. My name's Tony Ariola, master trainer. If you haven't had a chance, get some of my books. Get me skinny. Those things are still doing well. And my purpose in life is to teach you health and happiness. Thank you so much. You're the reason I exist. And I will see you on the skinny side. Hit the music. Dun, 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 dun. I can never get the second round of music going. I just get the first one. Dun, 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 dun. Happy anniversary. Woo!